Scene Script Have you ever wondered why some people seem to instinctively grasp new concepts while others struggle? The difference often lies in their mindset. In the vast expanse of human cognition, learning is the beacon that illuminates our path. It's the tool we use to navigate through the complexities of life, to understand ourselves and the world around us. And yet learning is not merely about accumulating knowledge, it's about transformation. It's about evolving our understanding and refreshing our perspectives. But to truly harness the power of learning, one must first let go of old learning. We must unlearn to learn anew. This might sound paradoxical but it's a necessary step in the journey of intellectual growth. Old learning often rooted in outdated beliefs and misconceptions can act as mental barriers, preventing us from embracing new ideas and innovations. However, our brains are naturally resistant to this process. It's an instinctual defense mechanism wired to keep us in our comfort zones, to shield us from the unfamiliar and unknown. But, as the saying goes, growth happens outside of our comfort zone. And so, we must challenge our brains, push against this resistance and venture into the unknown. This is where the reinterpretation of beliefs comes into play. We must learn to question our assumptions, to scrutinize our preconceived notions, and to dismantle the mental constructs that limit our understanding. By doing so, we open ourselves up to new perspectives, new insights, and new ways of thinking. And this transformative process doesn't stop at merely changing our beliefs, it extends to replacing our old beliefs with new ones. This is where the real power of learning lies, it's not just about discarding the obsolete, it's about embracing the novel. In this journey of intellectual evolution, we are not just passive recipients of knowledge, we are active participants, shaping our understanding, molding our perspectives, and, in turn, transforming ourselves. Changing our mindset allows us to replace old beliefs with new ones, opening up a world of possibilities. Scene Script Change is not only possible, it's inevitable. Let's look at some examples of how people can change. Picture this. A young woman, born and raised in a small town, finds herself stuck in a cycle of poverty. She's been told her whole life that money is scarce, that wealth is for the lucky few. But one day she stumbles upon a book about financial literacy, and it completely shifts her perspective. She begins to see money not as a scarce resource, but as a tool that she can utilize. She starts saving, investing, and before she knows it, she's not only broken free from the cycle of poverty, she's thriving. And then there's the story of a man, once convinced that he was not smart enough to pursue higher education. He was stuck in a dead-end job, feeling unfulfilled. But then, he discovered the power of learning, the power of knowledge. He started reading, going to night school, and bit by bit, he transformed his life. Today he holds a PhD and is a respected professor at a renowned university. These stories are like the transformation of natural resources into useful products. Think of a diamond for example. It starts as a chunk of coal, buried deep within the earth. It's dark, dirty, and seems to hold no value. But under pressure and over time it transforms into a diamond, one of the most valuable and sought-after gems in the world. Similarly, our minds are like these natural resources. They hold the potential for immense change and growth. It's just a matter of applying the right pressure, the right learning and giving it time to transform. And just like the diamond, our transformed minds can become valuable tools, allowing us to change our lives and even the world around us. As these stories demonstrate, the ability to change is within all of us. The key is shifting our mindset. Our mindset not only affects our personal growth but also our financial prosperity. Let's delve into the concept of new money. New money is not just about the acquisition of wealth, but it's an idea, a mindset. It's about letting go of traditional, scarcity-based thinking and embracing abundance. The scarcity mindset is a belief that there's a limited amount of wealth available in the world. It's the notion that there's a pie, and if someone gets a large slice, then there's less for everyone else, but that's simply not the case. Wealth and abundance are not finite, they're created and they can be created again and again without limit. This is where the concept of new money comes in. New money is wealth that's been generated through innovation, creativity, and the application of new ideas. It's not about taking a larger slice of the pie, it's about making the pie bigger. Now, how does our mindset fit into this? Well, our beliefs about money and wealth are like self-fulfilling prophecies. If you believe that money is scarce and hard to come by, then that's likely to be your reality. But if you believe that money is abundant and available to everyone, including you, then you'll start to see opportunities for wealth creation everywhere. You'll start to generate new money, 
This doesn't mean that you'll suddenly become a millionaire overnight. What it does mean is that with a mindset of abundance, you'll be open to opportunities that you might have previously overlooked. You'll start to see potential where you once saw obstacles. You'll be more willing to take risks, to innovate, and to create. And through this process, you'll generate new money. So let's shift our thinking. Let's move away from the scarcity mindset and towards one of abundance. Let's embrace the concept of new money, not as a measure of personal worth, but as a reflection of our ability to innovate, to create, and to contribute to the world. The concept of new money is not about acquiring more, but about embracing the idea of abundance. Our prosperity is not static. It evolves with technological and industrial advancements reflecting our mindset. Imagine if we still bartered goods like our ancestors did. We'd be trading chickens for shoes, or a day's work for a sack of grain. But, the evolution of prosperity has brought us far beyond that. The concept of new money, digital currencies, cryptocurrencies, and even social credit, is becoming an integral part of our global economy. It is reshaping the way we think about and interact with wealth. This shift isn't just about the physical or digital representation of money though. It's about our mindset. Abundance isn't about having a lot of something. It's about believing that there is more than enough to go around. It's about understanding that scarcity is a mental construct, not a physical reality. However, changing our mindset is not a walk in the park. It's a challenge, often met with resistance. Our brains are wired to hold on to what we know, what's familiar. This is why we often cling to outdated beliefs about money, even when they no longer serve us. But here's the good news. We have the power to rewrite these scripts. We can replace old beliefs with new ones. We can transition from a scarcity mindset where we're always worrying about not having enough, to an abundance mindset where we know there's plenty to go around. This shift in mindset doesn't just change how we see the world, it changes how we interact with it. It opens up new opportunities for wealth creation. It drives us to innovate, to create, to build. It allows us to see potential where others see limitations. Think of it this way. Our mindset is like the soil in a garden. If it's fertile and well-nourished, it can grow an abundance of plants. But if it's neglected, nothing will grow. Our mindset influences our prosperity. To prosper we need to open our minds to abundance. We often limit ourselves based on what we see or hear about finances, but what if we could shift our mindset to embrace abundance? Imagine a life where you're not bound by the confines of your current financial situation. A life where you're not stifled by the societal norms of wealth and prosperity. This isn't a far-off fantasy, it's a reality that can be achieved through a shift in mindset. We tend to form beliefs about money and wealth based on what we see and hear, from our parents, our teachers, the media. We're told that money is hard to come by, that it's something to be hoarded and saved, not invested and grown. These beliefs however are often not based on reality, but on fear and scarcity, and they can limit our potential for wealth and prosperity. So how do we challenge these beliefs? How do we open our minds to abundance? It starts with recognizing that our beliefs are just that. Beliefs. They're not facts. They're not immutable truths. They're simply ideas that we've accepted as reality. And just as we've accepted them, we can also question them, challenge them, and ultimately change them. The next step is to replace these limiting beliefs with new, empowering ones. Beliefs that see money not as a scarce resource but as an abundant one. Beliefs that see wealth not as a result of luck or fate, but as a result of mindset and action. This isn't about denying reality or pretending that money grows on trees, it's about recognizing the potential for wealth that exists within each of us. It's about understanding that the only limits on our prosperity are the ones we place on ourselves. By changing our mindset, we can unlock our potential for wealth and prosperity. This doesn't mean that money will suddenly start flowing in, but it does mean that we'll be in a better position to recognize and seize opportunities when they arise. Remember, abundance is a mindset and it starts with you. Wealth isn't just about the dollars in your bank account, it's about the richness of your ideas, the breadth of your experiences, and the depth of your relationships. And when we embrace this mindset of abundance, we open ourselves up to a world of possibilities. By changing our mindset, we can unlock our potential for wealth and prosperity. Remember, abundance is a mindset and it starts with you.